Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I got my XL5 here from iFlight and I'm gonna share with you five upgrades to take this really solid aircraft to something that's you know absolutely spectacular. We are trying to pump out a video for YouTube every week, so if you're liking our content, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Okay, upgrade number one. So this stuff is called Amagord Amagrip, and it's a grip that goes with, sticks onto the airframe and uh, it's very tacky and thick. It's a, it's a lot thicker than the iFlight stuff, and that's why I like it. The battery, once it's strapped on the airframe, it's not going anywhere. So that means if you have a little bingle, your battery's not gonna get ejected, go through your action camera, and more importantly, it's not gonna come off the airframe and get damaged on the ground somewhere. Upgrade number two, folding propellers. These ones are awesome because it just makes your drone that much more compact. You know, with the fixed ones, it just doesn't fit very nicely anywhere and the propellers are constantly getting stuck on everything. So these five inch propellers by Dell Prop, they're an amazing upgrade. I found them to be very reliable as well. So fits really nicely in my bag or if you just put it in the boot of the car, don't have to worry about it getting hooked onto everything. Upgrade number three. So you wanna make your drone as water resistant as possible. By using these two products, you can do that. First one I've got here is Rain-X. Rain -X you apply to your FPV camera lens and that's a water repellent. So it just means that water is gonna fly off your lens a lot quicker than it would without it applied. The next one I've got here is called Conformal Coating. This is applied to your flight controller or any electronics on board. And it forms a thin layer that doesn't allow water to get through to your electronics and cause any kind of shorting. When you're applying this, you just got to remember not to apply it to your barometer, which you know measures your altitude, or to any USB ports. I do have uh, little USB TPU printable plugs, which I'll share the file to in the description below. And you can plug off your USB ports before you go and apply this. Upgrade number four is to do with the GPS location on the airframe. From factory, it comes installed on this TPU mount on the rear of the aircraft. However, I found that it's somewhat obscured by the antennas uh, in their stock form. And also the, the, the compass cable runs between the two power leads here, which can cause issues uh, with interference. So what I've done is I've designed and printed a TPU mount and I've relocated on top of the battery strap here. And that solves those two issues. Uh, there's nothing worse than just, you know, wanting to fly and sitting there and trying to get satellites. So, you know, this means you're gonna get the best reception the compass is never obscured and uh, yeah, you're going to be able to take off quicker and you're going to be able to fly um, you know, knowing that your GPS is never obscured at any point. So yeah, highly recommend that upgrade too. Upgrade number five, this is by far the best one of all of the upgrades I'm recommending. It's absolutely free. So the iFlight XL5 and the Nazgul actually come uh, from factory with a throttle scale to 75%. And uh, I believe this is just because they want to make it, you know, a very smooth aircraft, uh, nothing too crazy. But yeah, if you go into beta flight, go into uh, PID tuning and then rate profile setting, turn the throttle scaling off, that's going to give you an extra, you know, 25% uh, throttle. So that's, that turns this aircraft into an absolute animal, um, which is really cool. But be careful doing that as well. It's, it's significantly more power. Um, but yeah, if you're ready for it, highly recommend that, that upgrade. All right, guys, thank you for watching my five best upgrades for the XL5. Um, you know, anything I've talked about, we'll put links in the description below so you can check out those products. Um, if you've got any cool tips of your own that I might not know about, please let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in.